Hi, my name is Boris and in this video I'm going to show you the top 10 absolutely free VST plugins in 2024. We will go through different synths, instruments and effects to give you a complete overview of the plugins that you simply have to get. Before we get into the video, if you like what we are doing on this channel, make sure to subscribe. We've got more videos on music production coming up. And if you'd like to learn Ableton with all the foundations of music production, check out our beginner to advanced Live 12 start to finish course. All right, let's get started. So first of all, let's take a look at synths. The number one free VST synth in 2024 is still Vital. Vital is pretty similar to x Serum in the way that it's designed. It's very visual, it's a wavetable synth. It's got a lot of envelopes, LFOs, a nice filter section and lots of nice effects. Even the tabs are structured similarly, so we have a matrix tab and four macros. So it doesn't include less features than Serum itself. And there's definitely a growing number of preset packs for Vital being developed. The plugin is expected to become one of the most widely used in EDM. So I'm not going to dive too deep into this plugin. What we have right now in this patch are two saw waves. Both have 16 voices of unison with a bit of spread here. We have a filter on top and some effects. So chorus, EQ and reverb. And this becomes a huge sound. Take a listen to this. I really like the way the unison sounds here. It is absolutely capable of creating incredibly powerful sounds. All right, let's go into the next one. So we have a wavetable sort of digital sounding synth. Now let's take a look at an absolute beauty of a synth that is totally an analog recreation. And this one is going to be the recreation of the Oberheim OBX. The plugin is called OBXD. It's most likely the best absolutely free vintage synth emulator. So the OBX is one of the most iconic synths of all time. It's really well designed, looks great, sounds incredibly powerful as well. It also comes with a nice selection of presets. I am pairing it here with Tal Chorus. Actually, Tal Chorus is also going to be our next plugin. This is a great emulation of the Chorus module from the Roland Juno series and it sounds absolutely beautiful. It's got very few controls, so two modes, dry wet knob. Let's give it a listen. First of all, maybe let's listen without the chorus and then we'll uh, enable it. So OBXD in full glory, let's hear it. And let's add tal chorus on top. So both plugins are one of my favorites, definite must-haves for me. Let's go on to plugin number four, actually. And this one is a sampler called Momentum. So Momentum is a great free VST sampler. It's capable of slicing samples, stretching audio, changing the key, and it's a really great way to creatively manipulate samples. You can apply 18 slice specific effects and you have lots of other smart features too. Momentum comes with a browser where you can browse some of the packs from Big Fish Audio. I just dropped one of our PML samples here. The sample itself sounds like this. And what I've done is I just added a few slices. Let me disable the effects at the beginning. Okay, so what we have is this. And we have all these beautiful effects which you can apply to individual slices. So for instance, we have this reverse effect which is applied to this right here. So listen to how it changes our pattern. It's a nice fade created by reversing this bit here. What else? Uh, we have filtering, uh, so it's going to sound a bit different, and some lo-fi, phaser, and reverb. Let's give it a listen now. As you can hear, it really transforms the sample into something completely different. It's a beautiful, absolutely free VST, which can totally transform your samples. And doing effects like this with Ableton's built-in simpler is actually kind of tricky because you have to automate the effects. And here it's really, really fast. It's actually a beautiful way of coming up with creative 
sampling patterns. The next plugins are going to be a free bass and a free guitar. Both plugins are from the same company, so let's treat it as one actually. The first one is called Ample Bass P2 Lite. It's a beautiful, absolutely free bass guitar. Let's give it a quick listen. We have a nice acoustic guitar as well. This acoustic guitar has a lot of effects actually. So we have this effects tab, which has all these awesome pedals. So you can already make beautiful sounds without even having to add any effects on top of the guitar itself. I really, really like this. You also have different strumming options and so on. These are really nice guitars that are absolutely free. Let's go into effects now. Probably the effect that almost everyone needs to have is some sort of loudness meter when you're mastering your track. And Yulin loudness meter is one of the most popular here. It gives you all the most necessary information about your loudness so that you can compare your track to reference tracks when you're mastering so that you're mastering at the correct loudness level. Let's play one of our tracks and see how it monitors the loudness in LUFS. So one peak here is going to be our louder section and another peak is going to be our quieter section. So you can see the approximate values in the LUFS of both of our sections. It's a really beautiful plugin. I really recommend everyone to know what your loudness level is. So a really simple but powerful plugin. The next one is called Fresh Air from very reputable company Slate Audio. So Fresh Air is a dynamic high frequency processor that adds smooth high end to your mix. It makes elements beautifully bright without making them sound harsh. It combines vintage exciter circuits and some advanced dynamics processing magic and it sounds incredibly beautiful. Let me play you a strings clip from one of our sample packs. And now let's put on fresh air. As you can hear, it boosts the very high end, so it boosts the air area in your mix. You have two sliders here, so you can adjust these separately. Adding fresh air onto an element that you want to be bright or just stand out a bit more is an amazing way of boosting any track in your mix. Let's uh, take a look at another. The next great plugin we have here is TDR Nova, which is a dynamic equalizer. And dynamic equalization is not something that Ableton comes with by default. It's sort of similar to FobFilter Pro Q, probably without as many features. What we have here are four bands. You can add a threshold, adjust the gain on all of these. So here we have a bell curve, which uh, ducks whenever our main frequency in uh, in this percussion loop is playing. So let's let's hear first without this band and then uh, we will turn it on. So as you can see, it responds dynamically to the frequency of this bassy percussion sound that is playing here. And this can be incredibly useful both for your mixes as well as your masters. Having a dynamic equalizer in your arsenal can really, really improve your sound. And what I especially like about this one is that it's very visual. You can visually see where your peak frequencies are and how you're affecting your sound. Okay, so the next plugin is going to be Ozone Imager. And this is a really beautiful plugin. Let's play a loop from one of our packs as well. Right, so as you could see, we have a very stereo sounding sample. We are filling the entire stereo spectrum. Now, what this is beautiful at is summing things to mono, similarly to utility. So we can go down with this width slider.
and this now became an absolutely straight line so we are 100% mono but what this can also do is stereoize a sound that could even be completely mono now we have a totally mono sound we are going to take another ozone imager just for demonstration purposes and let's hit stereoize here i'm going to increase the amount of milliseconds here so it's using a bit of the has effect and i'm going to be increasing the width It beautifully can spread out any mono sample into the stereo spectrum. But what's awesome about this is that you have two modes and you can uh, mess around with the timing here in the stereoized section. If we now take another, the third ozone imager and we take this artificially stereoized signal and we sum it up to mono, it sounds really, really nice. So let's hear it once again. So as you can hear, it works really great and it's a free tool for managing your stereo spectrum. Okay, so the last plugin for today is actually a complete bundle of free effects and it's called the Meldo Production M Free Effects Bundle. And you really have to get this. It's absolutely free and it's a whole arsenal of effects. It's got EQs, compressors, filters, auto tuners. We're going to take a look at this today. Stereo wideners, wave shapers, analyzers, all kinds of effects. They have awesome modulation effects as well. So a ring modulator, flanger, tremolo, vibrato, all all of the effects have incredibly in-depth parameters. It's a great bundle when you want to get started just expanding your built-in effects in Ableton or any other DAW. Okay, but today we're going to take a look at the awesome free autotune, which is called M Auto Pitch, and we have this vocal sample from our vocals pack. Let's hear it. No turning back. It's already in key, so it doesn't sound off, but we can but we can add auto pitch and we can really exaggerate it so that I can show you how it sounds. No turning back, cause I lost my heart right from the start and now. I hope you could hear how more artificial the sound became. You can uh, adjust the amount of auto pitch with the depth knob here and the speed knob also affects the sound because it's, it's not going to jump as fast between different notes if you decrease the speed. First of all, of course, you need to choose the scale of your melody. Otherwise, the auto pitch is not going to know precisely what notes uh, you are looking for here. And what it's also great at is formant shifting. We have this formant shift knob and it's awesome for turning your vocal samples into effects or chopped fragments. Let's just hear it and I'll show you what it sounds like. So if we take the formant shift knob down, it sounds like this. No turning back. And if we go higher, it's going to get a bit chipmunky. Because I lost my hand. But it's still playing the exact same pitch, and that's awesome. So we can modify the character of our sound here with this form and shift knob. If we add, for example, reverb, turn this down, and also maybe fresh air, uh, this becomes a really moody sound now. No turning back. Because I lost my heart right from the start and now. It's probably not the most advanced autotune out there, but it's certainly enough to just get you started or if you're looking for a quick autotune effect. All right, I hope you will find these plugins useful. My favorites are the Juno Chorus from Tal as well as Fresh Air. Make sure to check out our Music Production Academy with start to finish courses on making tracks in various genres, as well as the Beginner to Advanced Live 12 start to finish course, which gives you all the knowledge you need to get started with music production. All links you will find in the video description. Make sure to subscribe to our channel and click the notification bell. If you enjoyed this video, leave us a like, write a comment, and I will see you in the next ones.